chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, apologized for walking with the president and his top aides across Lafayette Park to that photo op outside of St. John's Church. General Milley was right there, wearing his battle uniform. Just 30 minutes earlier, the space was forcibly cleared of peaceful protesters. I should not have been there. My presence in that moment and in that environment created a perception of military law and domestic politics. As a commissioned and uniformed officer, it was a mistake that I've learned from, and I sincerely hope we all have learned from it. The extraordinary apology comes after some of the nation's most respected retired military officers have condemned the episode, including former Defense Secretary General Jim Mattis, who blasted moving those protesters to, quote, provide a bizarre photo op for the elected commander-in-chief with military leadership standing alongside. Milley's comments were part of a commencement address for the National Defense University. He spoke forcefully about the right to protest as a bedrock American value. Few other nations have been able to change for the greater good, and that is because of the rights and values embedded in our Constitution. The freedoms guaranteed to us in the Constitution allow people to demand change, just as the peaceful protesters are doing all across the country. He urged the graduates to reflect on what they have witnessed over the past two and a half weeks. What it means to all of us as Americans, what it means to you and I as leaders. Milley's apology comes amidst growing calls to rename U.S. Army bases that are now named for Confederate generals. The president has come out strongly against it, tweeting they have become part of a great American heritage. But today, the Republican-led Senate Armed Services Committee defied the president, voting to require that the bases be renamed. Today, some Republican senators said the time has come. There's a lot of continuing towards after soldiers. There have been a lot of great soldiers come along since the Civil War. Well, I think this is a step in the right direction. This is the right time for it. Let's get right to John Carl live at the White House, because, John, you're learning tonight that General Milley actually uh, considered resigning. ABC News has learned that General Milley was so upset about his role in the events that happened that day over in Lafayette Park that he thought about resigning, but ultimately decided that would be letting the troops down that were there, and that the better course of action would be to apologize and to deliver the message that you've heard him deliver to his fellow service members. David, our John Carl leading us off.